welcome today to um, our little Zoom meeting. Um, this is Ratizo Mambo, who is one of our rising stars of 2020. It's so exciting. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be, yeah, to yeah. be recognised. So thank you. <laughs> so good. Your career is just, you know, growing and it's so exciting to have you here. So tell me, what is your most memorable uh, job that you've ever been on or the job that you're the most proud of? God, I think the job I'm most proud of is probably the better one because memorable, I've had some memorable jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For good and bad, but um, but the most one I've been the most proud of probably would have been um the, the two hander that I did, which is the Trial of Dorian Gray, which is a play wow. that I did last year um here in Melbourne, and yeah. it was probably one of the first roles um that I got to do um in my natural accent, without having to put on an accent, without having to be American or be ex African, because usually most roles I get. I both extremes. Mm. So this is just a role with just a girl on a stage with a guy that she um that she know that she likes and um and it was yeah an hour and a half on stage and yeah. not being able to leave and I got oh. to practice my acting chops. So yeah. that is oh, incredible. It. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And um tell me what um what's it, something that like we don't know about you? Could you tell me a little some some background or something that you could tell me which we wouldn't know uh that i went to high school in a small town of 2200 people in far north queensland outside of townsville in the burdekin wow. shire uh in a place called home hill <laughs> what, what was that like? tell me about the experience of you know growing up there Fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. I came on a Rotary Exchange program with the Rotary Club, um, yeah. similar to Matthew McConaughey, who also went to North Queensland as well on a Rotary program. Um, so yeah, that's how I originally came to Australia was on a Rotary Exchange program. And then I went to high school there, straight yeah. into year 12. Um, and the, town, the whole town was Sicilian Italian. Oh and so God. that was my introduction to Australia was a yeah. farming community of sugarcane farmers um, for yeah. an entire 12 months. It was fantastic. Yeah. And how did you get into acting originally? What was, what drew you to being, like becoming an actress? Oh, so I started acting in Zimbabwe and yeah. I started doing it because I guess, um, I don't think I do, but my mom swears that I've got ADD. So she kind of wanted to just, for me to get my energy out. So she enrolled yeah. me like in ballet, <laughs> gymnastics, acting. But I, um, I grew up obsessed with American television and um, and um, just watching just, especially when you're going in Zimbabwe, I hate in Zimbabwe, it was such a beautiful country, but mm -hmm. the idea of the outside of Africa, what life was like outside of um, the other was always fascinating to me. And I, I did my first feature film when I was 14, which is an American African feature film called Yellow Card. That was one of the top films in Africa. And that for me was just a stamp towards um, that I could have so much fun and be creative and be on set for three and a half months and not go to school for three months. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as a 14, 15 year old, as a 15 year old, that was incredible. So that's how I got into acting was, um, was through that feature film. Yeah. And what would be your, like your dream job? What would be like the character you'd love to play? Do you have a, a dream job or? Yes. What I would, would love. I would love to be in a procedural or like a Scandi noir kind of um, role, like the top of the leg, like the killing or sharp objects. Um, mm -hmm. But as a, a leading roller co-star as a black woman yeah. who's all just who's multifaceted, who's investigating, but who has her own complications and putting that layer on of being black and also um, uh, just the nuances that you carry. Because I think a role like that, being an investigator will be, so amazing, just like what Mahashala Ali did um, in True Detective, but yeah. as a female character, I would love to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you're going to get a role like that one day. That's so good. I love it. Yes. Um, do you have any advice for other young actors, you know, getting into the business or what, what would you, what, you know, words of wisdom? Always be prepared. Um, you're never too good to not go to school. Um, it doesn't matter how high up you go up. Um, 
and you're acting like craft is everything. Talent just is, talent is just a, like a little fire engine. But if you don't have any craft or any, if you don't focus on the studying and um, um, just, yeah, craft. Always be, have craft, always be prepared and don't underestimate that you're enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so true. Yeah. Well, yeah. congratulations. I'm so happy that you're a part of the Our Rising Stars of 2020. It's so exciting. And I can't wait to watch your career keep on blossoming and growing and everything. It's fantastic. So thank you, Thea. So good. I'm glad that you got interviewing me. So thank I you. I can't believe it. It's so beautiful to, to see you and have you to be a part of all this. It's great. Love it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> see you soon. Appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Thank you.